Okay, so in this video, we're going to talk about the applets. If you remember in Windows 10, you used to just click on the little globe and then it would just pop up that app list and you can choose from the different apps that's available on your computer. But when you come to Windows 11, it looks like that app list is gone, but actually it's not. So once you click on those little four squares that looks like a Windows, it's going to pop up this menu in front of your face. And then you're going to see some pin apps. Now these apps are easy access app, but you don't see that list. Now in order to see that list, you have to click on where it says all apps. And then now it's going to bring back that list that you're familiar with. So now you can stroll down and choose the different apps off this list, but you can also type in an app if you need to. So you don't have to go to the list and search for it. So if you want to get to Chrome, you just type in Chrome and it was going to bring up that Chrome icon as long as it's installed on your computer. If you want to go to edge, you can type in edge. If you want to go to control panel, you can just type in control panel. So you don't have to fumble through the list if you don't want to. And if the app is not pinned to that first menu when it pops up, then it's okay because you can just search right there. But you can use a search for other things. You can search for apps. You can search for document. You can search the web. There's so many different things you can do with that search. You can also remove the pin apps that stuck to that screen. So you don't have to be stuck with one thing. So you can pin and unpin things from this first menu that pops up after you hit those four squares. So right now I don't have the Google Chrome as an app that's pinned to that top list. So what I'm gonna do now is just go down and right click on the icon that says Google Chrome recommended and pin it to start. And then you're gonna see it pops up right there. But now it's at the bottom. I might want it to the top so I can just drag it up to the top and move it wherever I want to and drop it. So you can shuffle these apps around wherever you want to. And then you can remove apps that you know you're not going to use. So what you do is just right click on an app like this TikTok app and then you unpin it. And then you can go to the next one and unpin it. Now unpin it doesn't mean that it's uninstalled. It's still on the computer. It's just not on the pin app menu right here in front of your face. And these two dots represent that there's another list of apps that's available if you stroll on down. You can click on the dots or you can click on the arrow or you can use your mouse if it has a wheel and stroll up and down. So if there's more apps below the ones you see here on the pins list, you can always get to it. But like I said, once you click on all apps, that's going to take you to the list that you're used to seeing in Windows 10. So nothing is gone. It's still there. It's just in a different position. All right. Hope this video was helpful. Thanks for taking the time for watching. Have a good one and I'll see you next time.